just spent the whole morning there. I'm gonna head back to the hostel and grab some lunch. Today's Tuesday, but that doesn't matter. Pretty chill day in Early Beach so far. Um, in a YouTube video. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Woke up this morning around 7:30. Went for a run down the coast. It was pretty, pretty nice place to run. Um, and then on my way back, tried to grab a coffee. Stopped at two or three cafes. None of the cafes I went to had cups that I could sit and have a coffee in store. It was really disappointing. Overall, I've kind of found this part of the country to be pretty bad for that. Um, there are a lot of cafes that only serve takeout cups, and I, I know I focus on this issue a lot, um, coffee cups in particular. It's mostly because I just love coffee and it's where I notice it the most. If you've seen my coffee cups video, you know that. Um, it's a good indicator of an area's willingness to use disposable things overall. So if an area just has takeout cups, then you know that they're probably more um, open to using disposable products than another area that, that has many more in-store options. Most of the places I've been to that only serve takeout cups have terrible recycling programs as well. Bailey Beach has so few recycling bins, it's ridiculous. Like, you can almost not find them at all. Hostels never have them around here. While I've been traveling, I've been really trying to reduce my impact, so not having any takeout cups, not I bring my own bags to grocery stores, I try not to use disposable things. Just like the small changes in your life that you can make in order to have less of an impact. I notice, I try to notice every time I throw something out or dispose of something now. And I'm getting better. It's, it takes a little bit of time, but then you start to get into the groove of using and reusing and not throwing things out. So I'm working on it and I'm gonna try to keep portraying that on this. But I think it's, it's a pretty easy thing to change and I think a lot more people should be doing it. So I'm gonna keep trying to show how easy it is to change your habits through this vlog. By the way, another thing I'd like to just say thank you for is I reached 50 subscribers, which it doesn't seem like that many, but it really feels like a lot. It's my first major milestone and I'm really proud of it. So thank you everybody who has subscribed and anybody who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate it. I love making these videos, so thank you. I just checked in for the trip that I'm gonna be on for the next couple of days. It's a Whitsunday sailing adventures trip um, called Ride to Paradise. I was hoping to go on a sailboat because I'm a sailor myself and I, I enjoy that a bit more. But in order to see this much of the of the reef and the area, you kind of have to be on a powerboat. As well as the, the place we're staying at night is gonna be really cool. So check that out once it's up. I'll try to remember to link it in this video. But if not, just look in my 100 video challenge. It'll be there. Next thing on the agenda is I'm going to meet my friends Julia and Dave, who I met on the Dropper Adventures trip. 